In this tutorial, we are going to go over how to change the words, the text boxes, and the images. This is just going to be basic if you're new to show it on how to make some of these changes within your site. Um, to get started, I am using the Show It template. Confidence is key. You can find that on our website at studiomommy.com. I like to, whenever I'm editing a Show It site, I like to use just the desktop item in the beginning and then I can go back, or sorry, desktop view in the beginning and then I can go back and look at the mobile side and just make sure everything matches up and looks really good. Um, this way I can just see everything in one spot. So I'm gonna click down here where it has the desktop icon and this shows me just the desktop view. And then I want to minimize this a little bit just so I can see everything. So I'm gonna zoom out and now I can see everything. So let's say I want to change this title here. So all you would do is you would just double click and highlight and then retype over those words. So I'm just gonna say, hi, welcome to my site. So you can see now that the spacing is kind of off and um, we don't need this extra additional space down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, this is the text box, this blue um, border that you see around the text. I'm just gonna click right here and drag it up a little bit to align that text box. And then you can also click and um, drag this up to align it where you would like it to go. And what I also like to do is I like to click on both of these. So I'm going to hold the shift key, or no, I'm sorry. I'm going to hold the command key. I'm gonna click on this one and click on this one. And then I can evenly space this out because I can see the box now. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it just to make sure there's the same amount of space on the bottom and the top of this, um, this pink box. And then you can go in here and type retype this too by just by double clicking and typing in your own words. So let's say you fill out more information down here and you see how this text moved up and um, to I'm just going to type in something really quick so I can show you an example. Now if you look up at the top you'll see that the words are going to move up again. Okay, so it's gonna look like the words disappeared, but when you click away, you can see all the words. But again, it's out of line. I also want to click this and drag it down so that way this text box is evenly around these words. And I'm just gonna click in this text box and I'm gonna hold shift and then just use my arrow key to move it up a bit. And then again, I wanna do the commands so I can see you can see there's more pink area above this line than there is down here. So I'm just gonna move all of this up a little bit. Also keep in mind, if you continue typing and need more space, you can also just click in this pink box and make it longer as well, as much space as you need. Um, so you would just do the same thing. You would just go in here, um, highlight everything and just type over your words. Show it also gives you other options when you're typing a word. You can highlight, let's say, just the word gummies. And I want that word to link somewhere on my site or to a different site. So you can highlight that word, click on that link icon, and um, choose how you want it linked to a page on your site or to a website that's outside of your site. So that's how you would link a word. Um, and then, let's see, what else can we talk about? Let's go over the images. So this image here is a background image. So when you click on this image over here on the right, click on canvas background. And this is where you can choose an image from your site. So if I click on this image and I'm going to go to confidence is key, you can see all these images that I have right here that are available. I'm just going to choose this one. And then you can see that background images, that background image change. Now the mobile site is gonna still show that, so you also have to change that image as well. And I'm gonna scroll up so I can see that that background image has changed. So you remember before I mentioned about how I would go back later and change information that's on the mobile side. So when I clicked over here on, on mobile, 
it's showing me the mobile side of the design now. So you can see that those words fell down below here on top of this image. So I'm going to click on these words and I'm just going to drag this up some. And I might have to readjust my words a little bit so that way everything fits inside the pink box. Going to move this up. Give me one second. I just want to see all the text when I double click. And then drag this back up. Okay, so now I have that set up the way I want it. So I'm going to go back to the desktop side because that's what I really want to work on right now. And then um, I want to change these images. So all you do is you click on that image and click on image up here at the top and click swap image. And that's going to open your media library again where you can choose another image to use. And then also you can see on the right side, it gives you other um, settings you can choose from to change the images, such as the opacity. If you wanted to make it darker um, or lighter, you can make it fixed where it doesn't move. And so um, this is the image for the background right here. So you can see how it's really dark. So if I wanted it, that's the opacity that I changed to make it darker. So if I wanted to make it brighter, I can just change those numbers to a bigger number and you can see it brightened it up some. And then let's see what else. Just click on the words if you wanted to change show me more you can do that and then right here where it says click action is where you can change where it's linked to. And I think that covers some of the basics on just getting started. So with the text box, all you need to do is just double click and type over the text. Um, you can make your text box bigger. Also just align everything um, so that way it's still evenly spaced by moving things up and down. But if you have any other questions, just let me know. Thanks.